So right now it's near the mid of June and it's pretty scary how fast time is flying by but also how horrible I am at predicting my progress of drawing because when I first started this piece initially I was like okay this is only gonna be six months long which I failed to calculate my full-time job which actually added a lot of time and then in the beginning of this year after a year of drawing I was like okay maybe six more months and now it's six more months and I'm still nowhere near to being complete so I really appreciate all of you hanging in there and coming along with this journey with me and also as a side note I just wanted to really quickly thank everyone that commented on my last video the one drawing 500 days video that I posted a week ago there were a lot of overwhelmingly positive comments on how they liked my long form videos and how it's really kind of good to hear the insights of my progress and i just wanted to say that it means a lot because a lot of my videos are focused on you know instagram and tiktok these short form vertical videos where i don't really have to talk and it's just drawing progress and just cuts and cuts of interesting moments but for longer videos i've always struggled with because i have always been kind of anxious when expressing myself verbally in the past and it's something that doesn't really come to me naturally and something that i've been working on and youtube definitely has helped me a lot i remember my very first youtube maybe two years ago i was struggling with every single sentence with every single word that was coming out of my mouth even though it's scripted so i've definitely come a really long way since then but also your encouragement really helps me and i'm still working on it every single day So a couple of days ago, another artist friend of mine posted something on her story. She had just started a new hyperrealism drawing and she was talking about how she hates it and wants to rip it up. And I just wanted to say to everyone watching that this is completely normal and I get this about once or twice a week. Because the way that I work is in layers and what I would do is I would lay a flat piece of graphite layer on top of everything and then I would erase parts of it and then add the darkest parts with graphite pencils and then kind of keep going from there. And especially during skin portions, I know what the texture is supposed to look like. I know how everyone else does it, but a lot of times it takes a lot of layers to actually achieve the way that I want it to look. So it's definitely a long process and a lot of self-doubt involved, but ultimately in the end, I think looking at other people's works, it definitely seems like they're achieving a lot and it looks amazing, but a lot of times behind the scenes, it's definitely not the case and it's very, very normal for artists to have self-doubt and kind of hate their works. I've been getting a lot of questions on how I'm able to draw and do one piece of drawing for so long and how I'm able to focus and have this kind of patience. But I guess the answer is that drawing is my way of meditating and kind of my escape from the world. For me, drawing is not really a hassle or a challenge to 
be drawing you know like some other people that are learning drawing is but for me drawing is like my way of coping with anxiety or during stressful times i know everyone has their own different ways of doing that but for me it's really easy to focus on my drawing especially late at night where i'm able to kind of zone the rest of the world out where it's just me and my drawing and i can kind of focus on this one thing that i'm creating and developing over a long period of time so it's definitely become my way of meditation and i'm extremely grateful to have this avenue of self-expression that i know many other people kind of struggle to find so i really appreciate you guys supporting my journey and you know coming along all this way with me and i'll see you guys in my next video bye